And uh, our final question here is something that comes to us from, can you hear me, Mickey? And they ask, will COVID-19 change the way you visit Disneyland or Disney World once the parks reopen? More of a specific question for us and how we approach the park experience, not necessarily about, I guess, uh, what the parks are going to be mandating, but, you know, will you delay your visit? Are you going to wear a mask if you do go right back in when they open? Um, and, you know, let's start with Garrett uh, being a part of sort of Walt Disney World's backyard, being that close and it being an international destination. Is that something that, you know, you're going to consider uh, you know, maybe taking some additional precautions outside of what maybe Disney asks? I, to begin with, I always try and try not to get too close to people just because I, I, I'm, I'm comfortable in, cl in close spaces, but I don't like to be touching people when they're all sweaty. I've played sports all my life to where, like, you know, it's like when sweat rubs on sweat, it's just nasty. Uh, so what I will be doing is uh, right before the parks closed, they were having a hand sanitizing station and I was washing my hands a lot more. So I'll be doing that. I'll probably be more conscientious of what I'm touching, such as am I going to pick up every toy on the wall in the Emporium if I'm looking to buy a gift or am I just going to look and then if I'm very serious about it, pick it up. Uh, another thing I'll probably do is I'll just avoid the really crowded areas like during uh, fireworks or parades. I'll maybe go to a more uh, not as popular location, such as instead of watching Happily Ever After from the front of the castle, I will go and watch it from Gaston's Tavern where you'll have a lot more room and you can sort of just get a different perspective of where the fireworks shoot from. But uh, I, I haven't been wearing a mask just because I don't have the N95 mask that, uh, that the CDC and medical professionals are recommending. My whole thing is I'm just trying not to get too close to people, give more social distancing and uh, in the queue, try not to be as close, just try and give people their personal space and um, try not to touch things as much. Um, I know that's very hard because like when you're on an attraction, you want to touch everything because you feel like you're more immersed in the environment, but uh, I'm going to avoid that and just keep my distance. And when things settle down, probably then I'll just ease it a little bit where I'll feel more comfortable touching a handlebar without worrying that I could get something from it. Very good. And producer Kurt, are you going to change the way you visit Disneyland uh, post COVID-19? Well, I, I do have my N95 mask, so um, <laughs> I am ready to go. And as basically, I, I, within, you know, safety reasons, I'm going to, you know, do everything I, I'm going to do. But I got my mask. I'm ready to go. I want to get back to Disney as soon as possible. Open so, that park back up. It, it, open it up within reason, safety right. reasons. Right. But I'm prepared. I'm ready to go. Clearly. Yes. Clearly you are. Katrina, any uh, new things you're going to be doing heading into uh, a Disney park experience post-COVID-19? Uh, yeah, depending on like what's going to happen when they open and how many cases there are, I probably will use a mask. I probably will be using gloves when we go do, you know, certain things, wash my hands all the time. I'm probably going to bring a big bottle of Purell now everywhere. Um, yeah, just be, I probably won't be near people a lot. I'll try to like, you know, keep my distance like Garrett said. Um, but it's hard because like in Florida, a lot of their cues are interactive too. Yeah, right. So everybody wants to touch things. And sometimes, you know, like I want to play with like, you know, like Winnie the Pooh and the honey wall, mm -hmm. like, you know, nah, I won't do that anymore. <laughs> I'm probably going to be like that ah, germs and then yeah. run away. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Same thing with like the seven doors mind train and stuff like that. I mean, yeah. there's so much to do. They've invested a lot right into these interactive cues. Now makes you wonder like, you know, our parents going to be shouting at their kids. Don't touch that. Don't touch that. I mean, I think there's going to be a real phobia moving forward of anybody touching anything they shouldn't be touching that is communal. Uh, so yeah. I, I think, you know, you might be hearing that a lot more. That and if someone coughs, there's beware. People are probably going to like kill you. I don't know. Yeah, they're going to look at them like they're how, a leopard. Oh, oh, this is how Disney is going to get people to more heavily use their um, their Disney Parks Play app that not many people use to begin with. <laughs> It's Entirely true. possible, yeah. And uh, Tyler, anything you're going to be changing uh, about the way you approach the parks post-COVID? I mean, the main thing for me is I'm going to be more cognizant of everything I'm touching uh, when I'm waiting in lines. I may not lean up against the handrails as much. Uh, and uh, I'm definitely going to be washing my hands or at least taking uh, a very heavily alcohol-based, you know, uh, uh, 
hand washer with me, you know, clean and, your cell phone. and clean my cell phone all the time. And, you know, I, I talked about it a couple of weeks ago that, you know, when I, when I go to Disney, I, when I use the bathroom, I wash my hands. Yeah. That's pretty much the only time I wash my hands. Now I'm going to be doing it after I go on a ride, before I eat, like all this different stuff. I'm going to be cognizant of touching my face, uh, because, you know, from what I understand, if you if you if you eat the virus, it's it, it's you're probably going to be OK. But it's 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 the smearing of your face that gets you sick. It's the people coughing on you that get you sick. It's this it's it's I'm, I'm, I'm probably also going to be trying to use uh, quieter bathrooms because you can also get it from people using the bathroom. So, uh, you know. That, that that's it's just mostly more hand washing for me is is the main thing I'm going to do. And I'm not going to wear gloves, I don't think, because um, it's gloves are for avoiding cross contamination. And once you start touching anything, if you touch one thing, then it's on your glove and then you touch that next thing and then it's on that thing. So right. the gloves don't they're helpful if you know you're not going to be touching a lot of things. It's really just to prevent cross contamination. So. I won't be wearing gloves, but I probably will wear a mask. And I think it's just going to be time will tell and see where we're at when these parks finally open. And that'll kind of dictate how safe I feel. And we certainly saw a lot of uh, portable hand washing stations and more options for Purell that had been rolled out to the parks just prior to everything shutting down. I'm sure those will be sticking around for a very long time as a way to encourage more people to wash their hands and stay as clean as possible. So great question. We appreciate uh, that getting sent in. To all who come to this happy place, welcome. <laughs> <laughs>